Hello students, welcome to this first video on introduction of computer graphics. So what are the topics that we are going to cover in this particular lecture? So the first topic is the definition of computer graphics and the second topic is representative uses of computer graphics. Now we are going to understand the definition of computer graphics from different sources. So we are, let's understand the world of computer graphics. So let's come to the first definition. Uh, the first definition says that the computer graphics is one of the most effective and commonly used way to communicate the processed information to the user. It displays the information in the form of graphic objects such as pictures, charts, graphs and diagrams instead of simple text. So now what does this particular definition mean? So let's understand uh, in a layman's language. So we know that uh, we have screens that we are using continuously, the mobiles, the laptop, okay, the TV. So everything that is coming up onto the screen, it is coming in, uh, in a form that is understood by us in a, a visual format. Okay, so it is very simple to understand those things. And we need to understand that uh, they, these particular devices, they are having some kind of technology or some algorithms using which they are representing those graphic objects to us in a very simpler way. Okay, so there are various examples to it and we are going to come to it slowly. Okay, wherein this particular definition will get much more clearer. Okay, so we can see that in the first definition, definition itself, they have talked about pictures, they have talked about charts, they have talked about uh, graphs, diagrams. So you know that you have so like you use applications like uh, Instagram. So you know that there are so many filters that you use on it and uh, it, the, it clearly shows that uh, how good we are doing in the world of graphics okay so let's proceed further to second definition so the second definition says that the computer graphics is rendering service or it's a rendering tool for generation of images and manipulation of images so here we can clearly understand that mostly we are talking about images so what is rendering what is generation of images we'll come to that later in the uh, in the further lectures in the further videos Okay, so the third definition, computer graphics is the technology that deals with designs and pictures on computers, which studies about manipulating visual con content and kind of synthesizing it digitally. So we need to understand again over here that some content or some information are getting processed, they are getting synthesized digitally and it has been brought in front of the user. So this is how the user understands the objects that's coming up on the screen but he has no way to understand what is going on in the background and this particular course is going to actually take you to the world of graphics wherein you'll understand what is going on inside the machines in the world of graphics okay and how do you see such beautiful designs such beautiful animations on in front of you okay now let's come to the next definition uh this is a more uh uh, sorted definition you might you can say it's a definition wherein uh, you can clearly see that uh, how it has been explained throughout the ages okay so let's get started now I'll be explaining uh, it part by part and I'll be explaining it uh, with the help of examples so let's get started so computer graphics started with a display of data of on hard copy plotters and cathode ray tube so I hope everyone knows CRT okay this uh, particular machine or this particular device is not obsolete right now okay we still some people still might be using it okay and uh, it is good in performance okay now we have obviously lcd screens we have led screens but the time there was wherein we, we used to have uh, this monitors uh, when we used to use our personal computers okay so computer graphics started from that time wherein uh, we used to see those uh, images or whatever things onto our screen okay so the technology behind it the crt monitors okay we are going to understand that so it has grown to include the creation storage manipulation of models and images of objects today's computer are capable of generating lifelike images that are virtually indistinguishable from the images captured in photographs so what does it mean it says that okay so here we are going to generate some photos some images and they are not real but obviously they are lifelike that means it is very much near to some natural photos or some natural scenic things okay so where do you see such things okay if we go around and if you check in google okay uh, there are so many uh, great designers 
who create awesome like designs awesome images okay awesome animations okay so we'll come to that now computer graphics are not constrained by the boundaries of realism sometimes they go far into the realm of the imaginary as demonstrated by the computerized special effects you see in the movies for example fractal images computer generated picture processing in finite complexity now you need to understand you have seen many many movies okay which are animated movies okay so from a basic small like a lovely movie like up or uh, we can say uh, well, that is that was completely uh, completely animated movie when you had uh, uh, entirely entirely it's more like a cartoonish uh, movie okay uh, so we have uh, many of such kind of movies okay like ice age okay but you know that we have animations wherein we have seen, uh, seen movies like avatar wherein we see the humanoid uh, thing okay and uh, we see a different creature on an alien altogether that is completely computer uh, generated okay so you need to understand that we have gone way too ahead okay and uh, whatever we can imagine we can bring it into picture okay and we can bring it into whatever we can say like okay the videos the graphics okay the animation now uh, in every single movie that you see mostly of the of the hollywood movies the entire series of avengers if you say okay all those aliens coming from above okay it's obviously none of it is real everything is just animated okay using this particular concept of computer graphics now what does they allow uh, do they allow you to do so it allows computers to simulate objects in nature from plants to mountain ranges while race tracing technique elements computers to render pictures so we are going to understand different techniques using which uh, we proceed in this particular domain okay so there's lots to learn lots of algorithms so let's proceed now the next slide is going to cover the representative uses of computer graphics so obviously we, i have covered a few in the definition part itself okay but still as we go ahead okay so the first thing is like for guis now you might know that uh, there are so many web designers okay they create uh, beautiful web pages okay they have beautiful animations they have beautiful graphs charts to show the reports so so many things okay that they use okay for gui they all get generated using the concept of computer graphics okay then secondly we see that in the domain of business everything works with respect to chart by chart histograms even in science and technology wherein we are coming into the domain of analytic, uh, analytics okay so business analytics when you are doing we are using machine learning techniques you are using so many things okay and finally what do we need we need some graphs and charts using which we can show some patterns so that we can take good business decisions so for that what we need is computer graphics okay next we have uh, office automation and electronic publishing wherein we use tables graphs uh, hypermedia systems okay so the this is a way like uh, the bound is too great for this okay so we need to understand that uh, office automation when we are doing okay it's like uh, saying like an app which is used to control your house okay we can say or talk about home automation wherein you are having an application on which there are a few buttons you click on a button and the light switches on or the fan switches on okay and accordingly so a lot of uh, animations could be done okay uh, for such kind of things now the next is computer aided design okay so this is the best uh, like application of computer mm -hmm. graphics so you need to understand why it is best because you now you know that uh, we just don't start uh, right away building something okay to build anything we first of all have some designs okay we see that uh, how structural safe that particular design would be okay so for the, all of this we have uh, computer graphics using which we can build structures we can uh, build automobile bodies as said okay so all of this uh, can be uh, like tested on a design first and later they can be actually brought into development now the next is simulation and animation for scientific visualization and entertainment now the thing is in the world of entertainment you have come across so many movies so many uh, like things okay you have seen encountered so that is great but uh, do you know where it could be used more okay so let me tell you like uh, I, I had just recently seen one particular uh, uh, video of a web series called as a good doctor so in that uh, particular uh, reference video i got to see that uh, 
these people were actually planning to have, do an operation on a particular patient okay so before doing that particular operation they decided let's have a holographic view of the particular heart they were planning to work on okay and uh, so it was completely animated so before testing onto a real real person they had an holographic view and they tested it okay so it was a real time thing okay so it's like a virtual reality concept so the entire virtual reality concept the entire odd augmented uh, reality concept everything arises from where the entire concept is from computer graphics okay that we can use it in the sections of art and commerce okay so you can see various uh, like uh, terminals in public places such as museums so uh, now obviously uh, previously the art was only restricted i won't say it was restricted okay but previously the arts were like uh, paintings the sculptures okay but now the art has come to uh, digital forms as well okay wherein you see that uh, we have such uh, uh, you go to various parties you see the backdrops and everything designed over there where does it get designed okay so you have various tools to where it, you, you design such things okay and finally it comes into uh, the real life okay so that's how it, it's done then the last and the most important use is your uh, cartography concept okay so in this case uh, you clearly know that you have been using it in your day-to-day -day life like google maps so google maps uh, obviously they have to render the entire map in front of you you just swipe you swipe you want to check out this particular side of the region that particular slide of the side of the region you swipe and it has to be so fast that it has to render all the information that is there at a particular in a particular region and it has to get it in front of you okay so this is how the concept works so uh this is all uh so this is the first uh, video of computer graphics so i hope you have liked it and if you have liked it kindly like subscribe share as it is said okay so thank you so much we'll meet in the next uh, video and uh, happy learning enjoy computer graphics thank you